Howdy folks, thanks for joining me on this episode. We're threading in a new broadhead for a fun broadhead testing video. I can't wait for you guys to see this one, but I want to start this video out with the verse of the day, and it comes from Galatians chapter 6, verses, uh, it's actually multiple verses, 7 through 9. It says, Don't be misled, you cannot mock the justice of God. You will always harvest what you plant. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature, but those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. When I was planting oats in the last video that you guys just watched, it made me think about what seeds we're sowing in our, our lives, whether they be good or bad. And scripture tells us right there exactly um, what's going to happen based upon the seed that we're sowing. I look at this verse or verses as a, a time to reflect on myself and seeing what kind of seeds that I am sowing and what my life looks like and what my relationship with the Lord looks like. And I hope that you guys will reflect today as well. Let this verse convict you. But I know that whenever I read these verses, um, I felt some conviction and looked at the areas in my life that needed changing. Moving forward, archery whitetail season starts here in like two days from the time that you guys are seeing this video or a day or so, whatever it is. And I have some really awesome hunts to offer you guys, low fence and high fence with the Real McCoy ranches. And we're doing low fence, whitetail hogs, turkey, and some javelinas. We're offering hunts for whitetails that are in the 140 to 160 range at a smoking price on our low fence place and if you guys want to take advantage of that all the information will, will be down in the description below if you're interested in a whitetail hog turkey sort of hunt all low fence in south texas shoot me an email it's also down in the description below and also my instagram is there so if you guys want to give me a follow and shoot me a message you can do that as well the high fence exotic hunts are going to be insane through the roof this year i've already got some weekends booking up and if you guys are interested in some great exotic hunts i want you guys to go down and once again in the description check out the pricing the lodging is all inclusive it is five star we take care of you and everything that comes along with your hunt from the time that you roll through the gate to the time that you leave and i know that you will have a great experience over the last i don't know how many years three or four or five years now whatever it's been that uh you guys have been coming and hunting with me as your personal guide. We haven't had a single person leave disappointed. And I know that we will continue that streak for another season. We'd love to have you guys. The website for the ranch will also be down in the description below. And y'all can click on the website, see pictures, see pricing, the, see the lodging, all that great stuff. It's all there. The website is up and there for your viewing pleasure now into this hunt i have to say a huge thank you to connor and the tough head team for sending me out some broadheads these are the 125 grain tough head broadheads from the part of the evolution series this video speaks for itself and the broadhead speaks for itself i don't have much to say other than check them out links down in the description along with everything else this is my first time using these heads and to, to say i was impressed is an understatement but I'll let you guys view this hunt. Y'all enjoy it. Be sure that you hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love these broadhead testing videos. Whitetail season is almost here. A couple days, really fixing to pick up some content for you, for all of you, and I'm very excited. So don't miss out on any of it. Here we go.
Thank you, Jesus. It never gets old. That was awesome. The sniper hog lights just does it again. I'm sorry. I, going from pitch black to this light right here is excruciatingly painful. Man, that was a big hog. That was one that I've been wanting to take since it started showing up about, oh, I guess a week ago now. That is a big hog. Looking at it in the trail camera, I knew that it was big. Seeing it in person from 13 yards away, it didn't, he didn't look as big as he does on the trail camera. But I know that there's gonna be some serious ground upage on this hog whenever we get over to him. I flat smoked that hog. And that 125 grain Evolution Series tough head, broadhead, man. <laughs> I got it. I shot it through the foam target like, I don't know, two or three, maybe four times before I came out here just to double check everything. And I brought it inside, gave it a quick sharpening, and man, it was shaving hair off my hand whenever I put it back in the quiver. So I know we got some good penetration. I tucked it right behind the shoulder. I think that's going to be a good heart shot. And I'm pretty sure that I heard that hog go down. Um, I could hear it breathing extremely heavy, so I know he's not going far. I am super pumped, and it's a big spotted one at that. They're my absolute favorite. If you're a long time viewer of the channel, you know just how much I love the spotted hogs. If you're not a subscriber of the channel, I encourage you to do so right now. Thank you. It's my first hog in a little over a month, so let's go find him. I'm jacked. I originally heard this hog come in from right there. I walked in right there, but it came in, hit the water first, rolled around in the mud, and then came up to the feeder, was standing right here. I know that hog kind of ran this way and then curved back up to the, towards the south real hard. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Not even five feet. <laughs> We're already in it, y'all. Man, it's pretty incredible too. Look at the spray. <laughs> This is insane. I'm not, but 20, 15, 20 yards from the feeder, and it is awesome. Hands down, gotta be the best single bevel fixed blade trail that I've ever followed, and I've followed a bunch of them. <laughs> this is gonna be one that one of those trails that a blind man can follow. Stinking wicked. I mean, it's, it just keeps going just like this. It's been one of those steady walking type of blood trails so far in the first about 40 yards. And I'm, I know it's going to stay about the same. It's in the top, top eight or 10 best trails um, from broadheads that I've tested. Jam up. Baby. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> look at this pig. Look at that arrow. Through the opposite side shoulder. Through the shield, the opposite side shoulder, and everything. I was starting to wonder why my lighted knock had disappeared. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why. <laughs> what a bore. 175 or so. 160, 175. Man. <laughs> if that is not a testament to the broadhead and the arrow, the stock archery arrow, man, I don't know what is. Yeah, I'd say about 160, 160, 170. And the mosquito on my shoulders, about Boone and Crockett, two pounds. Yeah, gotta kill that sucker. It's not as old of a boar as I thought it was. If he had about two and a half or three inch cutters and another 100 pounds on him, I'd consider full body mounting him. It is too cool. Too cool, man. Arrow survived. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. The the knock, yeah, I think it's seen better days. It's only slightly bent. It's just barely hanging in there. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, everything is in fantastic shape. Virtually, from what I can tell, basically there is zero damage. I mean, there may be a 
just a tiny tidbit on that tip, but I'm really not uh, not seeing it. Maybe just a teeny tiny bit. Nothing that a file can't work out, but otherwise it is in perfect condition and still extremely sharp. And get a look at the old, uh, entrance. It's basically the exact same shot that I had on my cow elk. <laughs> It was quartering away pretty hard. Went back about two, three ribs. Punched right through that shield. Yeah, back of the shield. And wham, out the uh, opposite side of the shoulder through the bone and everything. That's pretty incredible. All right. I want to say a huge thank you to Connor and the Tough Head team. They reached out to me several months ago. And I knew that whenever I tested this one that I wanted to make sure it was on a good hog. I wish all broadhead testing videos could be on hogs this size and bigger. It really makes the broadhead and the arrow and everything else speak for itself when you got a big hunk of pork like this. So Connor and the, the Tough Head team, thank you so much for being patient with me. This broadhead was 125 grain broadhead once again, a part of the Evolution series, and it is high on the list of recommended broadheads after tonight's performance. Not only are you supporting a great company and broadhead but connor and the guys there with tough head are stand-up guys i got to chat with them on the phone have a great conversation get to know these guys before i actually grabbed the broadhead or before they sent me the broadhead and then i commenced to performing this test so i'm super happy very stoked to be supporting such an awesome company great guys and if you guys are interested in a great single bevel i highly suggest giving these tough head broadheads a chance very confident in saying that you will not regret it and you'll be very happy with your decision there will be a link down below for those guys and as well for the stock archery arrows there'll be a discount code for the stock archery arrows just like always thank you tough head stock archery arrows sniper hog lights for helping me get it done and have been helping me get it done for a lot of years so huge thanks to all of you guys out there. Links are all down in the description below. I'm always doing this. And if you like this sort of thing, be sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of it. Leave me a big thumbs up if you uh, really enjoyed this one. Thank you Lord for another hunt, another successful hunt. I'm grateful and I'm blessed and I hope that you guys are too. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in just a few days.